actually I have to wear like this certain dress that he wants me to wear and my hair down. I don't know, I think he has this weird fetish or something like. Wait, what? what? Mm -hmm. I don't know, it's weird. It's like he wants to teach me things, so. Very weird. Body of Night is a, a particularly striking movie, uh, not just because of its uh, sexual frankness, but because it's involving uh, lead characters of color who normally don't get to be uh, portrayed as sexual in movies. You know, that especially when it, to the frankness that they're done here. So can you talk a little bit about uh, you know, doing something in, in that vein. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, first, first things first, I do introductions. I'm Jason Toler, for all of you who don't know. <laughs> and I play Eric in the film, Body of Night. Um, it was a great experience. I want to thank everybody again for who had anything to do with the film. Um, in regards to the character, yeah, I mean, I, was, it was, I found it intriguing because you really don't get a chance. I've, I've never seen, um, kind of the BDSM lifestyle explored um, in an urban film at all. So to be able to kind of, to, to look into that world and kind of to, to, to grow the seed of that character and kind of see what this guy's perspective was of being in this kind of underground erotic world and trying to find someone that he could see as an equal was really, it was interesting and challenging. So I had a, a really good time with the character. And since uh, Craig G said, just joined us. I'd like to uh, get you in. Um, now, your your character in Body of Night is, you know, kind of the not quite the moral compass, but you know, you're the you're the grounded individual who can let everything roll off her back, as opposed to uh, the protagonist. So, uh, can you talk a little bit about? Uh, be, you know, inhabiting that person and uh, that contrast uh, with uh, the main character. Yes, of course. First, I just want to say hello to everyone personally. And um, it was such a great honor and a privilege just to be a part of all projects, especially Body of Night um, and with Deanna. Um, so I'm playing best friend. And of course, like, I create the whole backstory. Um, you know, I'm that friend that I like to have fun. I like to turn up. And I'm also like this, the voice of reason. But I'm still like, you know, I, I'm encouraging her to take this risk because I'm like, you know, that's my best friend. I know her, you know, she's what she's been through. And um, but I'm still like I have that level of concern. Like I know her, but you know, so I was trying to just play around with that. But I had um so much fun like on set and doing the role and just um just being there and able to just, you know, do what we all love to do, you know. Um, and I hope, you know, the the work spoke because that was my my goal is always to give you know the writer and the director and the producer you know what they want so it was amazing i loved it i loved working with you Kyrgyz. i love working with you all you guys are my heart i know that i love this whole acting team because nobody you know nobody knew that i was just learning <laughs> and uh, nobody gave me shit. And, and I, you you know, faked it well, Greg. I'm still, I'm still just learning, honestly, you know. So. After how yes. many movies, Greg? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Three decades, right? <laughs> hey, Joe, yeah, hey, all right, Joe. <laughs> yeah. I know him. <laughs> so, uh, uh, talk to us about what uh it's like to play a villain uh villains are great to play because you get to play these wonderful deep awful parts of yourself and expose them they're wonderful uh do you ever scare yourself in terms of the reservoirs that you discover uh no. when you're inhabiting no. Character. No. No. <laughs> okay. I have an ang I have an angry side. I have an angry side. You know. So, uh, can you uh, can you talk to us about uh, your experience working on Body of Night? Um, it was an interesting experience. It was nice meeting all of you. I mean, most I met some of you on Body of Night, and the rest of you I think I met on acrylic. 
and it was great working with everyone. I really enjoyed it. The crew was amazing, um, great people to work with. I didn't get to spend as much time as I would have loved to with everyone, but it was a great experience. And yeah, playing a mom was very interesting. <laughs> oh, and and uh, what what would what would you say uh, you like you like more uh, having a defined though presence as you do in Body of Night or being part of a larger ensemble like acrylic? I think I like being part of a large ensemble because I feel I felt like acrylic was so much fun. I was like, damn, I mean, where's, where's the party? It was so much fun. Like everyone was dressed all fancy and everything. Yeah, so I, I think I love being part of an ensemble. Just working together with other great actors and other great talent is always great. Uh, and well, another uh, vital part of uh, this ongoing ensemble is Anthea. So uh, let let's go over to you. Uh, you've got you've got uh, a uh, brief but you know, seen uh, stealing moment in uh, Body of Night. Can you talk about uh, working with those people? Yeah, yeah. Um, that was such an honor to do, honestly, because uh, I you know I met Greg briefly. Well. I originally tried out for Heartbeat, um, but I was at Burning Man, <laughs> which I go to with my husband. We've uh, been a whole bunch of years. So that was a really fun yeah. tape to do. It was hilarious. I, I was trying to send it from the desert and there's no service out there. Um, and so, you know, I didn't end up getting it in on time. And since you guys work so fast, you, you were moving right along. But I was so honored that Greg brought me back for Choke and then brought me back again for Body of Night um, and, and wrote in such a great part for me. You know, it was, it's just been really fun getting to build with people and getting to um, continue to, to grow together and, you know, see everybody in their different roles switching in the different films and I'm excited to watch all of them together as a collection. You guys have built an amazing body of work so quickly. It's it's really inspiring. I also write and produce. So seeing people get their work done and across the finish line in such trying times, I'm I'm really blown away. And um and it's been so fun to see Sherry and Lisa London pull us all in for all this. So 